Rwanda has um, achieved a lot um, since uh, the genocide against the Tutsi in 1994. Uh, actually, I think many people uh, uh, didn't think that we will achieve what we have, we have achieved. I think we have lived uh, a terrible event for uh, for generation. This is now our um, time to uh, to uh, remember, uh, unite, and uh, renew. Do you think it's important for Rwanda to hold these type of memorial events? It is very important because, as you know, more than a half of our, our population now um, were, was born after the genocide. This is why we need to continue commemorating the genocide for them to, to know what happened in our country. And the most important message for the youth now is uh, the unity and reconciliation of, uh, of, of our people. Do you think the United Nations failed Rwanda? Yes, for sure. The United Nations failed Rwanda because uh, when uh, the genocide was happening, there was a debate in the Security Council to um, not even uh, using the word of genocide in order to, uh, to prevent any intervention uh, to stop the genocide in Rwanda. Instead of uh, intervening to stop the genocide, which is one of the core mandates of, of the United Nations, uh, the, the Security Council opted to withdraw most of the troops uh, within that context was easy for uh, those who committed genocide to, to act freely. The genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda was preventable. There was information that was sent from the ground to the headquarters uh, here in, uh, in New York, but uh, the UN uh, didn't want to do anything. Since Rwanda, we've seen many changes in the way that peacekeeping is done. Peacekeepers can now use force to protect civilians, but do you think enough has changed? Has the UN learnt enough lessons since Rwanda? The, the, there are changes uh, in the UN approach in facing mass atrocities, but uh, when we see the situation in many countries of the world, we feel that uh, there is a lot to do uh, on, the, on the UN side. Next Wednesday, there's a UN meeting entitled The Prevention and Fight Against Genocide. What do you hope to achieve from that Security Council meeting? We need to think how we can prevent conflict and prevent uh, genocide. And the outcome we want from that meeting is a, is a resolution on the occasion of the commemoration of the genocide against the Tutsi to recommit uh, as a community of nations to uh, uh, prevent and fight genocide. But ultimately, do you think there's anything that the Security Council can do to prevent the type of atrocities that we saw in Rwanda 20 years ago? The configuration of the Security Council is, is also a problem. When we have uh, five permanent members who, are, who have their own interests and uh, who, um, depending on the, on the situation, can uh, prevent any action of uh, the Security Council. We had that in Rwanda uh, in 94. The Security Council was prevented to act uh, not because of uh, the, the non-permanent members but because of permanent members who refused uh, to, to state that there was a genocide in Rwanda. Uh, and I think this, uh, this uh, is um, unfortunate.